What is going on guys, Dizwaffle here, and man is that a way to introduce this next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory Mode, because the last time we left off, as you can see, we made ourselves a Mosasaurus, and of course there's a shark feeder over here for him, which is crazy cool, and there's another shark right there. He does actually have a, uh, I don't even know if you'd call this like a, a bad trait or anything like that, if you ask me, it's a good trait, where he's actually, uh, he's got more hunger or whatever, he's got a bigger, yeah, a large appetite, so he actually needs more food or whatever, right? Which is pretty good because, hey, it's always entertaining whenever he goes over here and eats a heckin' shark just like you guys saw in the intro right there, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, at the end of last episode, we did have a storm, and I kind of took care of that off-camera before starting this episode, so uh, we didn't have to go through all the storm stuff all over again, but yeah, nothing too crazy. We did actually have uh, one copy, and uh, yeah, these guys, the Draco Rexes just keep on fighting and stuff like that, so that's what this is over here. Uh, but yeah, we did have one copy that escaped, but it wasn't too big of a deal, I just kind of put him back in there uh, while everyone was still inside of the emergency shelter, so nothing too crazy. But, uh, oh yeah, then also last episode, not only did we make the Mosasaurus, we actually did like a whole entire makeover of the lagoon area over here. So now we have like a, I'd say like a medium-sized lagoon over here instead of that one gigantic one that we had here that was like a diamond shape or whatever. We also have a smaller one over here for a uh, future water marine reptile or whatever. We have room over here potentially for a larger lagoon, so that's going to be pretty cool, you guys. So I don't know if we have any uh, water uh, marine reptiles that could actually share a lagoon or anything like that, but at least for right now, we have them separate. Uh, I don't know what's necessarily going to go into here, but I guess we could always look, right? But uh, some other stuff that we need to start working on now is that because we did indeed release the Mosasaurus, we kind of progressed the main mission over here, and now we need to get some Velociraptors for Owen Grady, so that's going to be really cool, you guys. We need to get four Velociraptors, and uh, we need to actually go on some expeditions, so that would be this one? Is this? Nope, that's the fossils. Man! <laughs> I need, to, I need to get all used to this all over again. Oh yeah, then Archaeornithomimus, I do want to get some of those, uh, but I do want to go over here and actually get some Velociraptor fossils from Mongolia, and then uh, yeah, over here in China as well. Oh yeah, let's actually, you know what, let's go there. So we can get a little bit of Velociraptor and Archaeornithomimus uh, fossils here, so that's going to be pretty good, you guys. We have cheaper, oh man, the person that uh, does cheaper expeditions is a little bit busy right now, but I'm like, I don't think that's really expensive right now. Ah, I shouldn't have, I don't know if I should have done a rest right there. Uh, but I guess I'll give you a rest as well, and then uh, you, you're kind of getting up there. You could probably do one or two more uh, exhibitions or uh, jobs or whatever before you do need to get a rest. But I like 60 to 40,000. We have 4 million in the bank. We don't need to save too much money, but at the same time, it's always good to, you know, save money if you can, right? But uh, right now, our science is kind of busy, but uh, let's see if we can save a little bit of time over here. Yeah, it's down to four, or, uh, 2 minutes 55 seconds. So we're basically cutting that time in half right there, you guys. So that's good. So we should get the Velociraptor and Archaeornithomimus fossils as fast as possible, which is going to be pretty cool, especially because now there's like the new upgrade or update or whatever over here with the fossils where you could actually sell some of the extra stuff like the minerals and all that kind of stuff and i even got a comment from you guys saying there's this new button over here first person view that i never checked out i didn't even know they added this but it's a pretty cool little uh thing I, I guess we can start it here in the front yeah maybe like right here at the arrival area so first person view yeah we can just walk around we just arrived in the park oh open the building what and go inside of here. Oh wait, no, it just pulls up the menu here. Okay, I thought we were going to physically go inside of the building. Can I go inside of the innovation center over here, or visitor center, whatever it's called? I wonder if we can actually go inside of here, but look at this. This is pretty cool. We got the uh, science center over here, I think this was, where they're uh, processing the fossils and all that kind of jazz, researching. Yeah, that guy's pointing at me for some reason. He's like, hey, look at that. That's, that's Waffle right there. He's, he's touring around the park. <laughs> Let's go inside the innovation center. Can I actually go inside this, or is it just going to pull up the menu again? I guess we'll see here in just a minute. Let's see, open building. Yeah, okay, it just pulls up the mini. That'd be really cool if you could actually physically go inside of the buildings and stuff like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Enter building view. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just pulls up the menu again, right? Oh, no. Oh, it actually pulls up the, uh, the, like, like, you could actually go into the viewing gallery or whatever right here. Interesting. So, that's pretty cool. Also, speaking of viewing gallery and all that kind of stuff, I know I mentioned it last episode and I completely, I mentioned it, like, multiple times to make sure I didn't forget about it, but I still forgot about it. But I do, I do need to, uh... And what is this? Oh, this is the emergency. Can I actually go in this? Can I physically go in that? No, I can't. Uh, but I, I do need to update the gyrospheres to make sure that they can... I guess we can go over here and uh, see what that looks like. The gyrospheres for the T-Rex area to make sure it uh, covers the new expansion for the T-Rex area. Because remember, we did make it a little bit bigger when we uh, added two T-Rexes. So, definitely want to modify that. And I do believe... No, this is the visitor center. Okay, yeah, right here is the gyrosphere station, right? Yeah, you can hear them over the internet comments and stuff like that. This is, this is pretty cool. I'm, li I'm liking this uh, first-person view right here, you guys. Cool. What if I could break into there? Drive uh, gyrosphere, ride gyrosphere. Uh, I guess we can drive it real quick. Oh, wow, you just walked right... And they walked right through the door as well. Wow. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but yeah, now I'm driving around on the gyrosphere right now, going off off roading over here. <laughs> yeah, we're going off road there, buddy. <laughs> we don't have to follow any rules here because this is my park and I'm going in the water too. Hopefully these things are actually uh, waterproof, and it looks like they are. I don't know. Can this thing actually get damaged or? Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a guy on Get up close and personal with this thing, crashing into it and everything there. <laughs> you can't get this type of ride on the regular gyrospheres. You can only get it with me, the owner. <laughs> Anyway, it seems like the uh, scientists just finished resting up. It seems like some of the other scientists are finishing up with the expeditions here in just a minute as well. So, uh, I guess I'll leave you alone in the gyrosphere. So, uh, have fun there, buddy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're coming back from the expedition. It's nice to see what we got. Hopefully, we got some pretty good uh, Velociraptor and Archaeornithomimus fossils. So, let's check them on this. Check them on the fossils and maybe some minerals, too. We got some Velociraptor amber. Two Velociraptors amber. Or Velociraptor ambers. We got 90,000 right there. 90,000 from those. Not bad, and a few Archaeornithomimus fossils. So I guess we'll get a four star. Oh man, we can sell that too, minerals. Yeah, look at that. Cool. Can I sell any more? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Fern fossils. Uh, let's get a three star, or a three number right there. So now we have some uh, fossils for Velociraptor taking up to 54% genome, and the Archaeornithomimus is going to go up to 32%. So that's not too bad, you guys. Cool. So sign some scientists as this, especially because they just rested up. Uh, genetic specialist, yeah, you're going to get this done super duper quickly. Only a minute for you. Noise. And let's go on another exhibition, especially because now we have a cheaper exhibitions person. Can we go back to... Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So we can take another trip over to get the Velociraptor and the Archaeornithomimus thing at the same time. Cool. Cheaper exhibition. Save 30% on the uh, trip over here. Might as well. And uh trip is actually 61% faster with just these two people. Cool. So it's only going to be a two-minute trip right there. Awesome. So we're going to have that done here pretty soon. Also got some comments of you guys saying I should uh, try and research the... Oh, yeah. Let's do the gyrosphere thing. I literally just brought it up. Need to do that before I forget. Uh, but I need to research some other carnivores, including the Velociraptors. I'm like, we have to do the Velociraptor anyway. Oh, whoops, that's a viewing gallery. We have to do the Velociraptor anyway for the main mission. But uh, yeah, you guys, some of you guys said like, was it Carnotaurus and stuff like that. I feel like we made Carnos before, so I kind of want to see if there's any other, yeah, Gyrosphere Root. Any other uh, carnivores, like like medium-sized carnivores uh, that we could actually start researching. That'd be pretty cool. But for right now, uh, I guess we'll just edit the Gyrosphere Pass. So I guess from... Say, yeah, say about right there. We'll cut all that off. Yeah, we can cut that off. And then from here, we'll extend it to go around this other lake over here to make sure it has full visibility. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, because we're placing down all the paths and stuff like that over here for the gyrosphere. I might have to, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that too, that little corner. Uh, it is getting rid of some of the trees, so I do want to check up on. Yeah, I might be able to modify that to make it look a little bit better too. Yeah, so we don't have to curve quite as much. Uh, but I'm going to have to check up on the T-Rex and the copies and all them. See if they're okay with... Yeah, see, it looks a little bit more natural. See if they're okay with the amount of forest and all the kind of jazz over here. Because some of it just got knocked down, unfortunately. So, unforestunately. That, that was pretty bad. Cut that out of the video. Uh, but yeah, let's check up on the T-Rex and all them here in just a minute. Because it should update in real time, right? Where is he at? There it is right there. T-Rex. And he's got... Oh yeah, he's just right on the line of force. Yes, yeah, so he is at 30%. Probably needs 30%. So you know what? Maybe I'll uh, see if I can... Oh, it's playing the music again. I don't know why it plays that music, but it's epic every single time. <laughs> but now we're up to 32% uh, on the forest over here, which is really good. Yeah, another fight has begun, uh, broke out between the Draco Rexes again. Really unfortunate there. I, even if we replace them with the pack of Civilosaurus, which we may do, uh, once they actually, you know, start dying of old age, which I guess we could check by checking up on. And they're coming back. Yep, boom. Come back from the expedition, so that's really cool, too. Oh, injury. Oh, yeah. Well, now we know where they're at. Yep, they're right there. <laughs> uh, let's see. What type of injury is that? Uh, major injury again. Golly. Yeah, they always get concussions over here for some reason. I wonder why. <laughs> but uh, expected lifespan is 84, and he's already at 57. So they're like two-thirds or so of the way there, if I had to guess. Uh, let's see. Let's get the capture team to knock you out and then go do another uh, thing on you. Oh, yeah. Also need to uh, do some research for, I guess we pull up this. Is that it? Nope, that's the fault. Well, I have to do that anyways. Uh, let's see. Velociraptor, Velociraptor. Get all those done and then boom, sell that and sell that. Uh, but let's get some Velociraptors done. So, Archaeornithomimus. Yeah, I get some of that too. So, we get some of that. There you go. And we can't really fit anything else here, unfortunately. Let's get a five. Yeah, let's get a five then. There you go. Cool. So, we have uh, Archaeornithomimus going to be just shy of 50% right there. It's going to be 49%. And then the Velociraptor is going to go up to 71%. So, not too bad there. Definitely going to need multiple more expeditions to get that up to 100% there, right? But let's get genetic specialist once again to take care of that and go on another expedition over. Is that still available? 
Ah, oh, man, we already mined it out over there, so I guess we'll focus on... Let's focus on the Archaeornithomimus, just because it's the lowest one, right? So let's get you, and let's get the cheaper exhibition, and you. So it's going to be done in only 2 minutes, 42 seconds, maybe a little bit, uh... A little bit more. 1 minute 46. Nice. 75% duration decrease. Nice. That's really good there. Uh, speaking of scientists and all that kind of jazz, I do want to get some research done over here for, was it infrastructure? Yeah. I think they added a few things over here because I don't, I don't remember seeing a few of these over here, like injury treatment upgrades, paleo medical facility, cheaper treatment and faster treatment. Yeah, they must have added those. Those must be uh, pretty recent too. And then cheaper expeditions, faster transit. You know what? That makes sense right now. Let's do that. Uh, it's a little bit too late for it to apply to the current, you know, expeditions we're on right now, but, you know, future uh, expeditions, you know, especially for those medium-sized carnivores, I want to get, like, the Carnotaurus or whatever. Gig I, I think we can get the Gigantosaurus, actually. That would be a I'm like, I know it's not a medium size, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'd be a good uh, replacement for the T-Rex once, uh, once those two die out or something like that, right? But let's see, uh, who are we going to choose here? I, I guess you, cheaper research. I'm like, you kind of have to get you for it because it's cheaper research and all that kind of jazz, right? But, Guess you and yeah, I still can't get four scientists. I think I need to do one more upgrade like this, right? Uh, extra scientist upgrade. Yeah, I think that's it. And then I should be able to have uh, multiple scientists during like research and all that kind of stuff. So I think I might need that. And then uh, which one is it? This one? Vehicle upgrade, response facility, task scheduling, advanced. Yeah, advanced training. That's what I need to make sure they have better accuracy and all that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> then a uh, scientist training up to level five. And then this one's response uh, automatic resupply. Ooh. I'm like, that's not, it's $2 million, but do I really need them to automatically resupply? Like, it, it it doesn't take too much effort for me to go over here, check up on the response facility or whatever, and just be like, oh man, resupply, uh, give you, fill you guys up, boom. I, I, I don't need to spend $2 million for that to happen automatically, right? So, yeah, I don't think I need to worry about that. But did they, uh, did they actually knock them out? No, they didn't. Yeah, they're still knocking them out right now. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, so there you go. They got them now. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they would have already had them knocked out if they had the advanced training, all that kind of stuff, but, uh. Let's see, I guess we'll have to get you... Oh, wow, you're perfect. You have just enough uh, welfare right there to do that. And, like, every other scientist is currently busy researching or going on an expedition or, or extracting fossils or whatever else. So that's actually good. We have all of our scientists kind of busy right now, so that's actually amazing there, you guys. And, yeah, remember, I did say I wanted to, to wait until next episode, which is this episode. I said this last episode. I wanted to wait until uh, next or this episode <laughs> to work on the monorail track a little bit more as well, just because we do have the lagoons, actually, uh, like the lagoon edit or whatever you want to call it over here actually done so that's pretty cool so i guess what we could do is expand this out now where could i do this i guess i'd have to have it come over to here and then maybe go over the t-rex area like so that's the gyrosphere there let's, let's make it go over to the center because the gyrospheres take care of the middle of it anyway so it's not that big of a deal honestly so uh we could always expand or uh whatever that later and uh how would i do this do i want it to go over the middle or yeah, pretty much just go over the uh, the actual pathway here, and you should be good to go, right? So there you go, cool. Actually, you know what? Yeah. So we'd have them going over the quarantine area, too? Yeah, this isn't too bad of an idea. Then make it curve over to here. And then uh, we could actually have that. Oh, man, yeah, and then it goes over the hotel. Man, that's actually pretty bad. Actually, yeah, there you go, boom. That's actually not too bad. So now we have, uh, like, every area covered. And I do believe, you know, once that's actually built... We can check up on the dinosaur visibility and all that kind of stuff. Now we have a big old circuit over here, which is going to be really cool. Instead of it just going back and forth, back and forth. Now we have a whole entire circuit going all around the park right now, which is really, really cool. You guys nice. We didn't, we didn't place down any more stops or whatever. So I might want to consider like maybe putting one there or you know, like over here. I'd have to think about that. Like maybe like right here, but it's like so close to this one. So like what's even the point anymore, right? I don't know. I definitely have to think about that. Uh, but for right now, I'm like, may maybe in the future, once we actually build more stuff in this way, it makes sense to put a stop, like, say, like, right there. That makes sense. But for right now, as, as the park currently sits, don't think we really need to add another stop. I think we're fine as is, right? But, yeah, let's check up on the fossils, see if there's any more fossils we could, uh, oh, wow, yeah, look at that. Coral fossils, 40,000 right there, get a little bit of money there. And we have some more Archaeornithomimus, uh, what do you call them? Ambers right there, so that's really good. 390,000 from dinosaur eggs, yeah, sell those. 390,000 again right there, amazing. Two Archaeornithomimus, uh... What do you call those? I keep forgetting. Ambers right there. <laughs> That's really, really cool, you guys. 40,000 for that. And yeah, boom. There you go. Let's get the five so we fill up this whole entire thing automatically. So that's good. So after this, we're going to go up to 84% on the genome. Not bad there, you guys. Pretty cool. So uh, science scientist is this. And then uh, so we do have uh, some sort of research, I believe, right? Uh, that, that we're working on right now. I might want to wait until we have yeah, expedition upgrades. I might want to wait until that's actually done, and then we'll do another expedition, because it's supposed to be, like, cheaper expeditions just kind of built in or whatever, right? 
drop off the Drake Rex somewhere over there, because it seems like that's where they hang out anyways, right? So, let's actually go on another expedition, just like I said. We just did a, uh, expedition specifically for... Whoops, where in the what in the world am I doing? Here we go, expedition center. <laughs> this is why I need to use those shortcut hotkeys, right? Let's do one specifically for Velociraptor. Yeah, there you go. Uh, 71%. So, right now with the Archon and Nithomimus, and we still have fossils left over for it, uh, it's going to be 84%. So, it's actually going to finish up here pretty quickly. Let's get cheaper expeditions right there. So, without you... 360,000. I think that would have been like 500,000 beforehand. So, you and the like built in cheaper expedition thing that's actually pretty good. So, that's not bad, you guys. Hmm, do we really need anyone else? Because it's already going down by 65% on the duration right there. It's going to be two minutes. I think we're fine as is. Like, if I got another person, it'd be down to 115. No, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, let's do that. Not, not build up any extra unrest that we don't need to, right? So, there you go. Cool. And now, do we have any other research over here? At the actual research area, the science center, that I actually want to work on. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the uh, actual, like, the, the what's it called? Advanced training, that's what it is. Yeah, but it looks like some of the, oh, and it's $2 million. That's a lot of money. Transit. They're still building the monorail over here, really? I know they're slow and all, but yeah, there it is right there. I guess I only just finished the uh, the bit that went over the T-Rex area, so that's pretty good. But yeah, once this finishes up over here, we should get the uh, transport rating done. And then uh, after we have the Velociraptor. Oh, yeah, did they finish? Yeah, they did finish the uh, extraction over here. So we have some more fossils we can take care of. Cool. So, 8 more percent right there for the Arc Ornithomimus. So, is this going to be done? It is! Ooh, the Arc Ornithomimus is going to be done there, you guys. Cool. And the Velociraptor is, yeah, it's able to try and process those as well. That's perfect. Look at that. Velociraptor is going to go up to 76% right there. Amazing. So, we should have enough fossils. Yeah, let's get you to take care of this again. And he's going to need a rest after this as well. But once we're done with this uh, new Velociraptor like expedition that we're on right now, yeah, we should have 100% genome from you guys. So, we might want to start looking for areas where we can put a Velociraptor like enclosure. I just don't know where I want to put a Velociraptor area. We don't need to have it too big of an area, if I remember correctly, from previous Velociraptor. Oh, yeah, and then also, yeah, last episode, we also expanded this area out, the uh, Avery area out. So now we have uh, some other species inside here as well. What are we? I forgot what it was. I need to have it. Yeah, Sun Sungaripterus. The yeah, Sungaripterus is in there, and of course. <laughs> Big Rangers just got destroyed by the T-Rex again. There's 50,000 more right there. Golly. And of course, the T-Rex has like a broken tooth or something on top of that. Golly. All right, well... <sighs> I guess we could put her over here. Let, let, let me look at this big map. Yeah, there's plenty of space. There's so much space over here, you guys. It's insane. So if I did that, I have to build like a big thing over here. Kind of like that flower petal pattern that we've been doing lately, right? Then I guess at the end of that, we could put the Velociraptors or something. I don't know. Or in the middle, we could put the Velociraptors. Hmm. Let, let, let's try and figure. Oh, whoa, what happened? Park income come up by 59%. I'm like, that doesn't really make... Oh, wait, hold on. Wow. Income or minutes at 800,000 right now. Holy heck. That is really good. Profits, 281,000. I haven't even done really anything since uh, last episode. We're up like double on the profit per minute, you guys. That's amazing. Like it literally says plus 200%. So yeah, look at that. That's amazing there, you guys. Cool stuff. But yeah, so like over here, if I did want to build that, it would have to be. Yeah, see, this is like kind of off center. So I, I didn't build that like perfectly. I guess I guess we could do that. Yeah, let, let, let me start placing down some paths over here and then maybe in the future we could upgrade all these around here to the main thoroughfare pathway. That'd be really good. But let me try and get some shape going on over here, you guys. Oh, and by the way, uh, in the background, we did have the Velociraptor uh, exhibition team come back. So I us take care of all this over here. Boom, 70 percent. Hopefully uh, 19 percent. Yeah, there, it looks like we're going to go on yet another Velociraptor expedition here, you guys, unfortunately. So uh so we could do that, and it goes up to 15%. Yeah, let's st we'll still do that. Yeah. And then we can sell these get a little bit of money, which is really good. So there you go. Cool. But yeah, I guess we'll have to go on one more expedition. So I guess I can have that going on in the background, right? But uh, yeah, this, this guy was doing it previously. He's a little bit unrested right now. So let's get this guy to do it instead. There you go. Let's go on another expedition to... Where's that? Right there. Then this should be the last expedition, actually. Four. Yep, cheaper expeditions. For the Velociraptor. So we should have 100% on Orchior and Ithomimus. Should we start uh, incubating and releasing those guys now? Makes sense. I'm like, we're, we're, how, how many Velociraptors are up? Not Velociraptors. Uh, Gallimimuses. How many of those do we still have? One, two, three. Just three, it looks like. Yeah, or four. Yeah, four or five. Not too many of them, you know? Panic and all the kind of jazz. Six of them, actually. Okay, so we have six uh, Gallimimuses. What is their age at? Whoa, they're actually starting to die out here pretty soon. 57 age. Expected lifespan is 64. So, yeah. Might want to get a head start. That way, once they start dying out, we can just release the Archeornithomimuses and boom. We're good to go there, you guys. So, anyways, now that we have a full genome on them, we can actually modify them fully over here, which is really good. Oh, yeah, and then I got some comments, you guys. Last episode, wow, look at that red. We got a blue, we got a green, we got like a black and a, like a sand color there. Let's do random right there. I did get some comments, you guys. 
Ooh, what is this? So we'd have a little bit of green or a little bit of blue on them. Interesting. Let's keep that random too. Uh, but I did get some comments from you guys saying I need to do more uh, research for. Let me actually do that real quick. Get that going in the background. Well, I still have that in my memory or so I can forget, right? But <laughs> which one is it? This one? Yep, that one. Got it. Uh, let's see. Gene modification. Yeah, you guys had to continue doing uh, more skins and pattern research over here. So let's definitely do that. Seems like I need to have. Uh, yeah, I need to research all of these over here in order to get more skins. So I guess we can do that. Uh, that's going to be Sonoran Desert and Great Sandy Desert skin. Amazon Rainforest skin and Gambia River Basin. Yeah, let's do this. Get a few more colors. And then I guess after we do that, we should unlock more patterns, right? Yeah, see, it's requiring the desert skins and this one's requiring the uh, taiga skins. Tropical skins. Oh, wait. Oh, we can't get any more patterns from either of those. We need to get it from either this or that one. I'll still get this one. Get some more colors anyways, right? So I know it's cheaper research. There you go. Not like we really need to save any money here, but still. And then I have to give this guy a rest as well. And maybe this guy too. Uh, 70,000. Yeah, don't really need to save too much money, but <laughs> might as well save some money if you can, right? So there you go. Get that going in the background. And while uh, that's happening, let's actually get some scientists some rest, such as you. And I think you. And I think that's it. Now you can get some rest as well. And this guy's currently working, so he's going to get a rest here in just a minute as well. But for right now, like I said, uh, while all that stuff is happening in the background, let me try and figure out how, how to really expand this left area out over here and have a little branch going over here on this left area. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. And this is what I came up with over here. So I've got a pathway kind of in the middle there. Uh, that way it kind of tell me where the actual middle of this uh, little, little, little like flower petal or whatever you want to call this is over here. So that's pretty good. I tried to make it about as big as the uh, the T-Rex one. Uh, this one over here was kind of off. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, that's just kind of what it looks like. Oh, yeah, is it? I think it was because this pathway kind of went off and then it went over here and then it connected up. So that's why it looks like that, because it was already existing pathway. I just kind of connected up to. So I guess that explains it. But over here, uh, we actually have area where I want to put down the viewing gallery. So let's actually do that real quick. Uh, where is that? There's like their viewing gallery. So we set down here at the very center, just like I said, at the very center of the pathway. And I don't know if we're going to actually keep this little... Uh, Little pathway is actually in the middle of this, or if I'm gonna remove it, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. But I guess we'll just place this down as like the first starter or whatever of the Velociraptor area. Which, speaking of such, we actually have a full genome for him now. So I actually want to go check up on that over here. I didn't do this uh, on camera. I was super distracted by some other stuff. Uh, but let's actually go over here. Oh yeah, because I was uh, I was delaying the Velociraptor and the Archaeornithomimus. Uh, like incubator uh, synthesizing them because I was waiting on more uh, skin patterns and all that kind of stuff. And I'm currently researching group adaptation over there. So we're actually getting a little bit closer to uh, getting more and more skins and patterns. So that's going to be cool. But uh, so we have large appetite for the Archaeornithomimus. Let's actually try and at least cancel that out, I'd say. So there you go. The short lived, long lived. I don't know. I don't know about that if we really need that. Sickly resilient. Let's actually do uh, resilient. Maybe 25% chance of resilient. Let's actually get that going. We have two left. And we don't need to cancel out any more negative traits. So. I don't know if we want to give anything, uh, like, needy, humble. Hmm, you know what, maybe let's give it a little bit of tolerance over here. This is actually going to be pretty good, because it's going to be in an enclosure with a bunch of other species, so let's give a 25% chance of that, and we don't need to worry about strong or weak or vulnerable, defensive, all that kind of jazz. And, uh, this one right here, fit, unfit. Uh, already 25% chance to do that, but, uh, don't know if we're actually able to research that just yet. I need to look at that. Yeah, we're not able to do that just yet. We need to actually get a, uh, two dinosaurs with the unfit trait in order to actually, uh, get that research but we don't actually need the fit unfit thing to actually get all these skins and stuff over here we do need this to get this and i already researched this to get this uh then of course we need both of these to, in order to get these two patterns right here so we're going to be able to get these here in just a minute you guys that's going to be really cool but as you can see like five of our scientists right now are currently resting and of course we have group adaptation currently working right now as well uh did i save the archaeornithomimus uh, gene whatever i might need to redo that uh oh i guess i did okay cool so we still have one more modification i could do uh, thirsty quenched all the kind of guys. I don't know if I want to worry about any of this stuff. Long live. Maybe give a little bit of long live, but some right like this. Not really expecting it to live long, right? Then over here, we do need to take care. Of, yeah, I was literally just about to say that. You take care of the power problem, and of course, connected up the path over here too. So let's do that. And I might want to actually speak of the path. Might want to, re like I said uh, before, I pause. Change all these pathways around here, and boom, boom. Look at that. Five scientists just finished up immediately. But I do want to change them over to this main thoroughfare kind of wideness right there. So that's actually going to work out pretty well. But we do have a uh, group adaptation done now, so that's actually really, really good. And we have research available for the Tyagus skin over here. So let's actually do that. And then once we're able to do that, so it's going to be Quillian Mount or Quillin Quillian Mountains and Svalbard skin. Interesting. I don't think it's Tyaga theme, so probably going to be a bunch of like white and black and gray and like muted, like, like neutral colors. So I see what this would be. 
uh, but it, it worked out pretty well uh, if I did randomize it and stuff like that, because we have a bunch of colors like we saw just a minute ago, like blue, green, red and stuff like that. So having some uh, neutral colors alongside that's going to be pretty uh, good for variety's sake, right? But let's actually get uh, who do I want to get? I guess we'll get genetic specialist. Yeah, I guess we'll get you. There you go. Cool. Let's get you for 100,000. Don't need to worry about that too much. And unfortunately, uh, oh, wait, yeah, we can't do multiple uh, researchers at the same time. OK, yeah, cool. Let's do that. So we have that going right now. Do another one over here for fast synthesis. Yeah, let's let's do that for 100,000. OK, cool. So we have two researches going on right now, right? Yep, two of them going on right now. And then we'll be able to research both of these here in just a minute as well. Cool. So let's get that going in the background. Let's try and take care of this power problem while we're uh, waiting, right? But let's actually get. Uh, oh, yeah, we have the large subset. Yeah, because we have the uh, extension or whatever it's called. We can actually uh, mm, you put it on this corner. Let's put it on this corner or something. And then we could use those uh, extension do hickey things, and that'd be pretty good, right? So let's actually put it on this corner, and we actually have a bunch of things that just finished up right there. That's really good. Don't need that, but I do want to get the repeater over here, right? So this is what this is. Uh, yeah, so we have to put that in the in the circle. So I guess we'd have to put it about right here. Yeah, about right there, and it's going to be able to power all that over there. Really good, you guys. Cool. That's about as good as I'll get. Cool. So now, oh, and then I have to connect. Yep, yeah, of course, I have to connect this up to the main uh, stuff. So let's do that. Split. Yeah, I can't do the yeah, because that's connected up to it. Yeah. Whoops. Well, I guess I'll have to place this over here then. There you go. Cool. And uh, I guess that means I don't need this anymore, right? Yeah, I, I guess that means I don't need this anymore. <laughs> so I guess I'll just get rid of that, get a little bit of money back. Yeah, 12 that oh, I guess I'll take it, right? So there you go, cool. So now Yeah, look at this. Now this is powered over here. Awesome. So we took care of that problem uh, pretty easily. And speaking of uh taking care of things, we did take care of that research over here. So I guess we can research some other stuff like patterns, because we have all the we have all the colors done right now. If I look at this, yeah, we have all the colors done over here. Now we could work on these two patterns. So let's definitely do that, you guys. So we could have like extreme variety of different dinosaurs, especially once we get those Velociraptors. That way we could actually have a blue Velociraptor or like a Velociraptor with like a blue stripe or whatever to be like blue. And then we could have Charlie Delta and Echo and we'd have the whole pack for them, right? So that'd be pretty cool. Let's get that done here uh, in just a minute. But uh, let's research that and then let's research this one over here, too. And I guess this one will be fine, right? Yep, there you go. Cool. So get those done. Then, uh, now that we actually have all the gene whatever's oh man dead dinosaur is it a, I, I bet it's a gallimimus yep gallimimus don't die of old age that's what i'm talking about that's why we're trying to make those archaeornithomimus right so we actually finished those guys up i think over here uh modifying the genome do we have any uh yeah i guess we'll increase this to be a uh, 25 or a 50 percent chance of being social okay cool so there you go start working on the velociraptor over here as well because we already have that done right yep there is right there 100 genome on the velociraptor it does have intolerant over here it already has fit and all the kind of jazz so it's actually right oh wow look at wow look at that Skin color blue. Oh my gosh. We need to manually choose that, of course. Yeah. Manually. Oh, yeah. We can't do that unless we get just one. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Blue Charlie Delta Echo. Ooh. So can I have a batch where it's just one? Do I have to do four batches if I want to get like the, the, the straight from the movie, right? I guess you have to. Blue Charlie Delta Echo. I don't want to randomize it. And if I do this, we have a chance of getting like. 10 blues or whatever, right? <laughs> I don't know about 10. I don't know how big the batch sizes are, but let's just select blue manually, at least for right now, just so we can guarantee that we have blue because blue is like the main like Velociraptor or whatever, right? Uh, but let's also take care of the intolerant over here. Try and uh, cancel that out. So there it goes. We have three left over. And uh, what else do I want to get over here? Humble, social, antisocial. I'm like, I'm like, it has a 25% chance of being social already, which is pretty good, but maybe we'll do some tolerance over here. Maybe add a little bit of tolerance, maybe like 25% chance. We already canceled out the intolerance. Get a little bit of tolerance if we can. Uh, that small appetite, long lived, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, long lived for a Velociraptor? Eh, maybe, maybe get a 25% chance of that. That'd be pretty good. Then resilience, yeah. I have seen, yeah, we have had Velociraptors get sick in previous uh, scenarios, right? So it does make sense to do that. Let's save and exit that. Then I guess we could assign scientists to this just because we manually chose to the skin there, anyways, right? So there it goes. Actually, get the cheaper synthesis or faster synthesis. Uh, I think it's faster synthesis. I don't think there's anyone that does the cheaper synthesis, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just get uh, whoever's currently available, which I guess would be just be multiple people here. So there you go. Cool. Start the task for that Velociraptor. OK, so it looks like the batch size is six. So are we going to have like up to six blues? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> but uh, I'm like, I really want to get it like one blue, one Charlie, one. Oh, wow. The research for the uh, skins or gene patterns and all that kind of stuff just finished up. Cool. And boom, the synthesis for uh, Velociraptor just finished up as well. And we got three viable eggs. So I guess we'll select. Oh, aggressive, aggressive. OK, social and fit. I like that. OK, so we are only going to get one blue then. It is it is pretty expensive doing this, though. You got to admit, let's do a uh, cheaper incubation. Where is he at? There he's right there. 
It's like four hundred something thousand dollars to a. You can pay. I'm like we're only doing one dino at a time, so uh, it's not too expensive. I guess you. Can, let's see. Let's get this guy too. It's not too expensive if you do it this way. It just takes longer, but I guess we're going to have literally just one of each Velociraptor skin: Blue, Delta, uh, Charlie, and Echo. I guess this isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? So I guess we'll start the task there, and let's see, let's actually start on the Archeornithomimus over here as well. So uh, did I randomize this? Yes, I did. Wow, look, look at this. We have like purple, we got red, we got like a dark. Yeah, see, that's like a dark gray, the Svalbard right there. We got Yukon River, that's kind of a muted blue. We got green there, we got like orange. Yeah, I definitely want to randomize that. We have different like patterns over here as well. Randomize that too. Awesome. So. We already have that randomized. It's actually assigned scientists to synthesize over here. And speaking of synthesis, I think, yep, there it is right there. Faster synthesis. It's faster as synthesis. It's going to be even faster with that guy, so it's going to be only 12 seconds on the Argyornith. Argyornith, though, my miss. We have a batch size of up to 8 with a 75% chance of expected survival rate. So that's actually pretty good. Because we're, we're going to have like 6 gallon Mimus is dying here pretty soon. Okay, 5 viable eggs right now. Not bad. And one of them is kind of bad. Okay, skittish. Eh. Do I need. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need that. Yeah, because we have all the other uh, tr like traits, genes, all the kind of stuff actually researched. That's that's good. So we have like this kind of like a almost white color there. We have purple, green. Then I think yeah, that's the no, that's that's not the Svalbard one. That's like a dark, almost like a dark forest green, like even darker than forest green already is, right? So I guess we'll just do four of these guys right here. That'll be fine for this batch. And then we'll see. Oh, do they need more? And then we can make a second batch if we need to, right? So that's going to be fine, honestly. And then uh, who are we going to choose here? I guess you. And yeah, you you can do it on your own. Three minutes. Like if some of the some of the gallimimus are starting to die out right now. Do I want to get this done a little bit faster? Down to two minutes instead of three. Maybe even faster if I do that. I guess we'll do that. Yeah, there you go. Just because I'm like, like I said, the velociraptors are start up. Uh, gallimimuses are starting to die out right now. Like literally, one of them just died. So. Need to replace him, and I believe the population of these guys is kind of red now. If I could pull up on one, where are they at? Uh, there they are. They're all hanging out over here. Yeah, see that? They got the lonely thing going over here because they lost a friend. So, yeah, I'm like, they're all going to die here pretty soon, anyways, of old age and all that kind of. Yeah, see, look at that, 61, and expected lifespan of 64, 61, 64. This one's age is 76, but the expected lifespan is 64. That's amazing. <laughs> I guess it's just lucky that guy's been surviving this long, huh? Man, that's amazing there. So we're, yeah, we're working on them. Let's continue working on this Velociraptor area over here. Because uh, we already have, like, the power situation taken care of. Let's actually be at... Oh, yeah! I didn't get the, uh, stronger enclosures. I should, I should probably research that, honestly. If you research, uh, let's go over here to enclosures. Yeah, we haven't researched, like, any of the stronger enclosures. So, definitely do that. Uh, I guess we'll get you to do it. Boom. There you go, cool. So, uh, it's going to be large electrified, heavy fins. Yeah, so at least get up to large electrified fans. It's going to be expensive, but these are Velociraptors we're talking about, right? So definitely makes sense to get something like them, right? Uh, then also, can we go on an expedition to maybe get like a medium-sized carnivore, like you guys said? Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what is available. I might want to actually look at the uh, research node over here. See what that is. There it is right there. See what's available over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is probably why some of them aren't uh, showing up, because we have Medium Carnivore 3A that we need to research. Ooh, that's going to give us a Megalosaurus, Metriocanthosaurus, and Allosaurus. I'm thinking maybe Megalosaurus. I feel like we haven't had the Megalosaurus yet. I think we did in the main, can like the actual campaign, but Metriocanthosaurus, I'm pretty sure we've had that, and Allosaurus, I'm pretty sure we've had that. Not a thousand percent sure, but that's actually going to take us that much closer to getting the Indominus Rex, which I'm sure the game wants me to get anyways, right? And then, yeah, it says to increase the genome of Gigantosaurus and Carnotaurus and all that kind of stuff, so we'll have to do that anyways here pretty soon, but I guess we'll start researching one of these if we can, such as you and... Yeah, both of you guys start researching that. Boom, 500,000. So we're going to start getting the medium herbivore dig sites unlocked, so that's going to be pretty cool, you guys. So anyways, speaking of uh, research, where's that? Medium electrified fence. That's going to be done in about 30 or so seconds, so then we need to start researching the uh, large electrified fence. Actually, is medium fine? I feel like medium might be fine. I feel like I don't need to worry about getting large, at least for the uh, Velociraptors. But we do have the Archaeornithomimus is ready to go, you guys, and let's just release them, straight up release them into here. Ba-boom. So we have four of these guys releasing into here. Let's keep an eye on their population and see if they need any more friends. And there you go. Look at how varied. Look at the different diversity of colors we got going on over here, guys. That's really cool. Missing forest. Uh, probably, so that's kind of like glitched right there. It says 30. I noticed that happened beforehand. But is it going to be like once it updates three? Okay, so it looks like maybe they need like eight minimum or something like that. Based on this. Does it say over here like what they need? 
Uh, so we expect a lifespan of 60. So they live about the same length as the Gallimimuses, but uh, if we look at the appeal rating 39, compared to Gallimimus, I think it's like 25 or something like that, right? Uh, wherever they went, I don't know where they went. And of course, because they're not like literally Gallimimus is done add on to their uh, thing, right? I'm pretty sure because they're different species like the Gallimimus and the Archaeornithomimus, their populations are separate. I don't know they, if their territory like converges or whatever, we might be able to see if they're uh, fine. And they're actually getting close to being able to converge here in just a minute. So those are the Archaeornithomimus is over there. Here are the uh, Gallimimus. Yeah, it seems like they're not uh, noticing the Archaeornithomimus as Gallimimus, even though they're like the same family or whatever, right? But there you go. We've got the uh, medium carnivores unlocked right there. Really good. So it does indeed say, yeah, we, we need to get like at least another batch of uh, Archaeornithomimus over here, which is pretty cool because uh, we get even more variety because we have randomized skins on them and stuff like that, right? So there you go. Get that and you. And do we have a cheaper... Oh, yeah, we already have the fastest synthesis guy right there. So I guess we'll get another guy over here to make that go by a little bit faster. So 17 seconds. I'm like, that's already super duper fast. Velociraptor. Uh, like I said, we don't, I don't think we really need them. Large electrified fence. I feel like medium is fine, at least right now. Let's actually get the uh, this medium and then here's the gate. Uh, oh, yeah, and I need to place down a, uh, a response team, a response a team around here somewhere, too. But. For right now, I guess we'll place down the gate, like say right there. There you go. And let's actually get the medium electrified fence connected up like so. Cool. So uh, how big of an area are we looking at right here? Let's look at the uh, management views. Let's look at dinosaur visibility. So it goes all the way out to there, all the way there and there. So let's try and actually match that. So it goes out to there. What does that look like? Uh, that's actually like really good. Wow, a little, little bit of blind spots at the very end and like right here as well. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, a lot better than the first time around. So that's good. Uh, I think we're going to keep that. Gyre spheres, all that kind of stuff, those will take care of any blind spots. No one if we're going to need any uh, viewing platforms. Then this, like, right here, I guess if anything, I can always clean that up. Maybe get rid of that gate. Then, uh, place down another, uh, thing right here. Try and fix this, just because it looks kind of, kind of wonky a little bit, right? Try and make this look a little bit more natural. So we can make this up like, uh, like that. Cool. Then we'll place down a gate after the fact. So, say, like, right next to it. There you go, cool. And then the fight has begun again for the Drake Rexes. <laughs> Who is surprised here, right? But uh, for right now, because all that's being built, I guess we'll get the uh, Velociraptors we'll release them via airlift. Uh, so what do we have right now? Yeah, just one. So I guess we'll just move you all the way over to here. Uh, then, of course, we need to put some water over there as well. Let's actually get the... Uh, I forget if they need live bait or what, but I might get live bait and regular meat for the feeder. Uh, just because. So uh, And then we have an injury, of course. I wonder if it's a Dracorex. Do you guys think it's a Dracorex? I feel like it is. <laughs> But uh, let's actually get some water over here, of course, and of course get a feeder over here for them, too. Let's get rid of some of the trees around the water. Just because I feel like there's a little bit too much trees. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. And then, of course, we'll get some feeders. So let's get a carnivore feeder right out in front, as well as a live bait feeder in the back. Cool. As well as a ranger post here to keep tabs on them at all times, right? So, uh, like, say, yeah, right here. Right there, right next to the gate. That should be fine. We'll assign some sort of whatever range team is closest right now, but here in the future we need to get another uh, response facility and put it like right there. That'd be a really good spot. But we just made blue essentially. Now we have an entry, an empty hatchery bay. Let's get another uh, thing over here, modified genome. Let's get Charlie next, right? So select Charlie right there. Then uh, hopefully we get a batch. Yeah, save and exit. Then hopefully we get a batch with... And by the way, I don't think they had that warning previously. Or else I would have definitely noticed it when if we had the uh, the T-Rex and I was modifying the genome and all that kind of stuff. So I guess they fixed that too with that least an update, huh? Uh, so science scientist is this. Then uh, let's get you. Oh yeah, these guys are kind of busy right now, unfortunately. But yeah, we can take three of these guys and still get that done. So that's not that big of a deal. And while that's happening in the background, let's get the those scientists a little bit of a rest, like so. There you go. Cool. And uh, where's that injury at, by the way? Injured organ. Wait, is that major? It is. Okay. Well, I guess we have to knock this guy out. Bubba, and then move them over, and then yeah, you need to get a response facility and a uh, medical facility over here. So let's, let's actually get that done here before I forget. Then we'll have to end off the episode here pretty soon, you guys. So, uh, so we have a response facility here. Do I want to place it like right now? I feel like yeah, let's place it like right here actually. So I don't know, maybe not right specifically right there. Maybe because I want to have like shops and stuff there, obviously, right? That that'd be a lot better. Maybe like right here in the middle ish. So like maybe like right here. That way it's kind of out of the way and all the kind of jazz. Uh, and then it's still going to be powered by this little thing right here. So that's going to be good. I guess we'll put this here. Uh, yeah, I can't like go up against the path automatically for some reason. But there, there you go. Let's get the medical facility over here too. Closure is here in his operations. <laughs> Paleo medical facility. Let's get this going as well. Wow, there's plenty of room over here. Awesome. And boom. There you go. Let's get some pathways over here. 
And then, uh, I guess we'll start ending off the video, or episode, or whatever here, pretty soon, you guys. Because we have, a. Uh... There we go. So it sounds like the Velociraptors just got laid down, that's good. We have some sort of disease that broke out. Yeah, like, okay, calm- oh man, Archaeoanthemimus has a common cold. We need to start, uh, there you go. Start, start, what do you call it, quarantining you? And do we have that other, uh, batch over here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so, select eggs over here. Uh, we have skittish, yeah, avoid that, social resilient fit. Wow, we have a really good batch here, you guys. Nice, we get six more of them right here. Good stuff. Oh, what, what, what colors are we working with, by the way? Yeah, let's get to that. Oh, some really bad Velociraptors here. All aggressive. All of them are aggressive. I kind of want to do another batch. I kind of want to. Like, how much would that even cost? I don't know, but we got 8 million. I think I'm going to discard the eggs. I'd hate to do it. Boom. Discard the eggs. Let's do another batch of Velociraptor. 292,000. Ah, I'm, I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. I know that we shouldn't be just wasting money and stuff like that, but whenever it comes to stuff like Velociraptors, where we're basically doing quality over quantity, I feel like it makes sense to, to you know, do over a batch if we have a whole, literally a whole batch full of aggressive, right? But cheaper incubation, yeah, I can't do that. Give him a rest, because hopefully uh, once we get a good batch here, we we'll don't have to spend like half a million or whatever on a uh, on incubation. So definitely give that guy a rest here. Uh, there you go. Cool. And then uh, speaking of the Archaeoranthemimus and all that kind of stuff, let's see. Uh, so let's look at the colors. We have green. We have another one of those like dark brown, dark greenish. We have like a dark blue or a purple there. Another green. Uh, like a bright, two bright purples right here. Ooh, interesting. Let's just get these guys going if I can. I can. Okay, cool. So let's get those going. Nice. And we'll release those guys. Uh, did we did we knock this guy out? Uh, no. Yeah, because the game's been paused right now. Okay, so. Uh, let's actually hopefully get this guy quarantined here as soon as possible. I know he's going to be lonely. I'm like, he's already lonely as is, but hopefully, uh, oh yeah. Did I, I don't think I ever did the, uh, the upgrades, like advanced training or what. I don't think I ever did that because it was like 2 million or whatever. So I kind of avoided that. Uh, but let's actually move this guy over and hopefully he doesn't spread any common cold, right? Uh, now what is this here? Oh yeah. Let's take him in to work on his major, like, organ whatever oh yeah well we don't have any scientists available we're gonna have some uh, scientists here pretty soon let's actually just transport them right now and then we'll worry about it whenever he uh, arrives there right but uh so we have yeah so now we have that there what what scientists let me go to front rangers yeah un unassign them there then take these rangers that are closer and assign them here instead so there you go and same thing with this mvu assign them over here too yep mvu cool so uh, i guess this this could be like front rangers i guess it could be west West capture team, and we'll do the same thing with this uh, MV over here. Paleo Medical Facility. There you go, West Hospital. Cool. Then uh, I could rename this, so I guess I'll just do that as well. West Mobile Vet Unit number three. Uh, get rid of the three. There you go. <laughs> West Mobile Vet Unit. I have to do the same thing over here with the capture team and uh, all that kind of delivered. stuff. But for right now, oh, has arrived at the front hospital. Okay, yeah. So we should have staff available right now. Let's see if we have anyone. Yep, we can get you to work on it. Cool. So that's going to heal him up for like ninety thousand or whatever. Which golly. Just wasting our money. But, uh, let's see. Did we... Yep, common cold. Okay. Common cold has been spread over there. We did, uh, get... Was it called? Resilience or whatever on, uh, these guys? So it's kind of unfortunately still got the common cold. We have, uh, four eggs here. Aggressive, aggressive. And no trace and fit. Let's get this one right here. This could be our, uh, Charlie, right? So this would be pretty good. Boom. There we go. 450,000. I do believe the cheaper... Cheaper expedition. Oh, he must be busy on something. Is that him, scientist? Is that him, uh... Then we have incubation complete right there. Cool. So I can release them, but I do want to see if this guy right here was that the guy that gives us cheaper synth or a uh, cheaper incubation. Uh, it was okay, cool. So now he's done, and boom, and yeah, we don't need to worry about anything else unless we we want to get that done any any faster, perhaps get that done a little bit faster. Yeah, minute forty six. Okay, yeah, just because the other Velociraptor I'm sure is lonely, and I do believe they need a minimum of two. So let's definitely get them uh get this Velociraptor incubated as fast as possible. But let's actually release these five or actually six. Archaeornithomimus, so, or at least this new batch. And now all the Archaeornithomimus, except for that one that has the common cold, should be happy with the population. And let's see. And it's at four. It should update here pretty soon. I don't know why it says four, because I literally just released like six of them right there, right? And then boom, yeah, look at that. They're at nine right now. Awesome. So cohabitation is actually kind of like, that's the only thing that's red, but they're at 90% with everything else, but I don't know, I don't know what we could fix in that regard. I guess we'll just have to, I don't know, maybe give them like a social thing to make sure they could coexist better in that scenario. I don't know. Common cold. So where, where's that Velociraptor that's over here? Is he, uh, is he just hanging out? Is he, is he, is he fine with all this stuff that's going on over here? Kind of want to see. Oh, is he breaking out? I think he's breaking out. Yep, he's trying to break. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I forgot the chicken on his. Uh... Oh, well, actually, everything is good, except for, of course, population, like I said. So we, we do need to get that second one, but let's get the uh, rangers over here. There you go. Repair the fence and then get the other. Get the capture team just to kind of preemptively knock him out. So thankfully, we already have uh, rangers like literally like right there. So they should get over there pretty fast. And we have medium wall over here. So hopefully this is going to stop him. Oh, 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 he's running away. That's good. That's good. Oh, he got knocked out, actually. Wow. Man, this this capture team over here is really, really good, you guys. Awesome. And uh, let's see. What is his friend? His friend's going to be done in about 15 seconds. Okay, good. So that's going to be good. We'll be able to release the release him via airdrop. And then hopefully they're going to be fine with the population. And then maybe next episode, we'll worry about Delta and Echo. Uh, but for right now, at least we'll have Blue and Charlie together. So that's pretty good. And then uh, also in the future, we'll worry about like, you know, expanding us out with like, say, a gyros, gyro station, all the kind of jazz. Let's actually see. So they finished him up, right? Yep, yep, yep. So it's released via airlift. Awesome. And I guess we'll just uh, start ending off the episode right here. So there you go. Cool. And there's Blue right there. Yeah. Wow. Looks exactly like Blue with a blue stripe and everything there, you guys. Amazing. I'm glad that they have like the specific skin patterns for the different Velociraptors from the movie. That's awesome. I was, I was about to say, like, I, I wanted to unlock all the patterns and all the kind of stuff to kind of recreate them, but they literally already had the skins already. So that's actually really cool, you guys. Noise. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, and it's getting, it's like turning nighttime or whatever. So can't really see them too easily, unfortunately. And he still has a common cold. But for right now, I guess we'll start looking for, or uh, well, is he done? Yep, he's done. I guess we'll start uh, looking forward to next episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode. Charlie, say goodbye. Say oh bye there. Oh, I think he said oh bye there right there. <laughs> Oh, bye there.